Let's do this. Hey, girl friends, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, I'm back. I know I disappeared for a little bit. It actually wasn't even on purpose. It just, life. But uh, I came back for a very good reason. Fenty hair has arrived. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know the tea that I was personally invited to the Fenty hair launch party. Thank you for being here for the launch of Fenty hair. You're going to be the first people to touch, to feel, and to experience Fenty here. Fenty here at Caroline is a lot more stressful than I thought. Right? <laughs> considering all hair types, considering all of the brands that I've been in love with my entire life, I'm thinking if it's not better than this one, it can't. It can't work because yep. this is going to be on my shelf. I want to use my stuff. I promise you, this is probably. The longest I've ever taken to create something? No, I like That's R9. <laughs> Let me just say, it felt so nice to be validated and invited to such an iconic launch party. I've been doing this for over 11 years, so just to be respected in this hair space really meant a lot to me and be surrounded by so many of mine and your favorite creators so if you guys want to see more about the party make sure you watch that on instagram but here is the moment the moment of the night this warm embrace by the one and only rihanna a time was had do y'all see the hug the double-handed hug i think that means we're besties right so although I love Rihanna, I love the Fenty team, and I got that double-handed hug, I'm not going to let it persuade my honest opinions on these products. We gotta know if they work, right? So I did leave there with two products, but then I got this beaut in the mail. Isn't it beautiful? It's one time for the box. So if you haven't already seen this on Instagram, let me show you what's inside. Four products on this side, and five more products on this side. For this being the very first drop, I'm very impressed that she gave us eight products out the gate, including a edge styling brush. Fenty Hair has the Fenty Hair The Rich One Moisture Repair Shampoo, the Rich One Moisture Repair Conditioner, Deep Conditioner, which is the Richer One Moisture Repair Deep Conditioner. We have two styling products. The Fenty Hair, the Home Curl Curl Defining Cream, the Fenty Hair, the Jelly Type Strong Hold Gel, we're gonna get into this one. We have an edge control, five in one heat protectant styler, the comeback kit, instant damage repair treatment, and the brush. But before we begin, this slick back style actually was done with the stronghold jelly. It's stronghold, it ain't going anywhere. Uh, it worked really well on my hair. I used this the last two days, and then today I even tried using the edge control on top so it's like extra slick today but here's my dilemma and some news that i must break to you although i was super duper hype that she came out with a stronghold gel the stronghold gel was actually not intended for wash and go styles it's made for slick back ponytails as you see here technically not for wash and go but the home curl curl defining cream is made for wash and goes and is said to be used on its own so much so that when i actually tried to just to see if these would get along doing a little test on my hand they in fact did not get along and it started to clump usually this is an easy way to see if it's going to flake on your hair to save you a wash day apparently that test doesn't always work but i mean i've seen this also applied to hair layered on and it's still flaked together just because that's not what they were formulated for so you got to respect the intent behind a product so you make sure you're using it correctly with that said i will be using it incorrectly today i just need to see if this gel can work on a wash and go as you can see by the sizes the curl defining cream is 11.5 fluid ounces and the jelly type is seven fluid ounces so they purposely did that so you'd be like hmm there's not a lot in here it's probably not used for wash and goes so without further ado i just want to try this product so we can see how they are lucky for you it is absolutely wash day by this little raggedy bun back here so we're gonna have some legit detangling to do to check out the slip of these products let me hop in the shower 
Let's begin. Not me looking like Lord Farquhar though. Okay, let's start renting this out. The tangles are there. So we're gonna really see how well this detangles. Starting off with the shampoo. This is the Fenty Hair The Rich One Moisture Repair Shampoo. It is 10 fluid ounces. It is of course sulfate paraben silicone free. It does have a warm amber floral fragrance. Has a great lather. And it also has Rihanna's Replenicore 5 which is supposed to be repairing your hair at the same time. Once I rinsed it out, it felt very moisturizing, wasn't stripping, I think it did its job. Now let's go ahead and add the Rich One Moisture Repair Conditioner. This one is supposed to repair split ends and condition your hair with ease. I did like the slip on this and I think it's a great consistency for my fine hair, I think even a medium hair. Not sure if it would be thick enough for coarser hair, but it was extremely moisturizing for me. I just need to know that it has slipped for me to detangle and it does, so I'm happy. Now this is the tricky part. I didn't know if you guys would want me to use the deep conditioner or the new Comeback Kid Instant Repair treatment. So let's do a little side-by-side -side comparison. This side will do the Comeback Kid treatment and this side will do the deep conditioner. Now the Comeback Kid side is an instant damage repair treatment. I'm very aware that I don't have damaged hair, but I wanted to see what this bonding did to my curls. According to their own stats, 75% saw an improvement in damage based on an eight week study on people that would use this as a leave-in conditioner. The instructions can be kind of confusing, but you can use this as a leave-in conditioner and therefore you're just leaving it in, or you can apply it to your hair, let it sit for three to five minutes and then rinse out, which is what I'm going to be doing today. This repair treatment will mend damaged bonds that cause split ends, prevent future breakage, and instantly strengthen your hair. The deep conditioner is called the Richer One Moisture Repair Deep Conditioner. You could pair it with the regular conditioner if your hair is real thirsty, but you don't necessarily need to use both of them every time. This one is for an even more intense hydration, also is claiming to repair split ends, and it's supposed to make your hair smoother, shinier, and healthier in just one wash. I'm really happy with the consistency. It's not too thick, so it's not weighing down my fine hair, and I think it's a nice happy medium between thick and thin hair. But when I did try this on its own, I think I do actually prefer the regular conditioner slip to the deep conditioner. I left it in for about five minutes and rinsed it out, and so far, they both feel great. And I'm back. So real quick, right off the shelf, this is the treatment side. This curl is like kind of extra popping right now. Um, but this looks good too. Both sides feel really moisturized. At first I thought the deep conditioner side felt more moisturized, but now the treatment side actually feels more moisturized. We'll see how it looks when it's dry, but I'm kind of feeling the treatment maybe more than deep conditioner. Now the fun part, let's style. So we do have the Home Curl Curl Defining Cream, which is supposed to be used on its own. And then we have the Fenty Hair the Jelly Type Stronghold Gel. Y'all know I am a Stronghold Gel girl, but I did actually try the cream all on its own and I filmed it. If you wanna see the wash and go with just the cream, follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee so you could see that video. Spoiler alert! It didn't have enough hold for me. My day one hair was beautiful, defined, soft, shiny. But by day two, there was a lot of frizz for me to have to refresh. And I prefer not to have to do that. So for those of you that like soft hold, you don't like any crunch at all, you don't live in a humid area, you're gonna love it. But today, what I haven't tried is the gel on its own. And even though it says not to do this, I'm a rebel. I mean, I'm really not, but today I am. Let's get into the gel. I love the pop top. It's just easy. There is a little plate in here. I don't think you're supposed to keep it in there because the step would be annoying every time. I think it's just for extra drip protection. Here is the consistency. Pretty jelly, but I could see how it could be used for slick backs as well. Mmm, does smell good. And let's just apply this all throughout my hair. Smoothing it in breaking it through, getting that hold, the definition. Okay, I mean, I know I'm not supposed to do this, but it does look good. I just know that the cream is not going to be enough for those of you that live in humid areas. It's going to have to be layered with something. But I was specifically told not to layer this gel and the cream together because it most likely will flake. And I prefer not to have flakes today. So it feels really good to apply. It doesn't feel too thick where it can't like slip through my hair. So that's good. I think it's like that jelly texture that's helping. This is how we're looking right now. I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit, then I'll diffuse and we'll come back for the final results. 
I'm back. I just had to pop out and show you my results from just air drying. Haven't diffused yet. So far, so good. I'm loving how it's feeling, how it's looking. We are staying defined and it has a little bit of a cast. Actually not as much as I thought it would for being a slick down style type of gel, but this is very diffusible. I'll be back. And I'm back. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. This is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. I am so happy the gel, although it's not supposed to be used for a wash and go, can still pull off a really good wash and go. I'm also glad that I'm liking my results even without a cream. It still feels moisturized. I deep conditioned, I used the treatment, I used the regular condition. So I still got my moisture in there anyways, but, but I can definitely say that I'm liking the gel on its own more than the cream on its own, just because I personally like a little more hold. My hair actually is really soft right now. I was able to scrunch out, I would say, 98% of the hold. But let's compare both sides. So this is my treatment side. Y'all see these little ringlets? Like, I'm really ringlety over here. This side's still good. Like I have more ringlets down here. It's still moisturized, but I think that treatment might have been doing some bonding on this side. But now for fun, let's just lay down some baby hairs just so we can use all the things. This is the, the controlling type, which is me being a type A Taurus. Hair thickening edge control gel. So I like that it's not just edge control, it's also supposed to be hair thickening for those of us that might have lost our edges, thanks to postpartum. So I like a good working product. All right, let's see how this feels using also the styling brush. Okay, it's feeling edge controlly. I guess the main thing with edge control is if it lasts and if it flakes. So I'll be sure to come back and report how this does long term. For volume purposes, let me go ahead and pick this out. I love it. 10 out of 10. Oh yeah, I love it. I will be grabbing for this more often. So now that we've tried all the products, we have our opinions. Let's talk about the nitty gritty. First thing I wanna make sure I share with you guys is the packaging. I do love the packaging, more for just the colors and the pop tops, but these little shapes on top aren't just for fun design purposes. It actually is for sensory purposes for those that may be blind, losing their vision, or maybe you just get shampoo in your eyes in the shower and you just can't see for the moment. This is how you can tell what product is what. So the circles are the conditioning products, as you will see on the deep conditioner and the regular conditioner. So circle do's mean condition. Cleansing products have the straight lines. Styling products have these little waves. Then you'd know that the cream is the biggest, the jelly is medium, and the edge control is the smallest. Comeback Kid has this little like chevron and the heat protectant has these ridges like this. That is just another way that Rihanna and her team has found to be more inclusive, which I love. Another way I think that they were trying to be inclusive is by having these pictorials on the bottles. There's no actual directions on the bottles. It just has these pictures and then a QR code. Apply to wet hair, section your hair, apply the product to each section and then scrunch, then air dry or diffuse. I mean, I get it. You know, I play Pictionary. And then there's a QR code that you can scan so you can learn more about it. And when I'm in the shower, for instance, I didn't know what to do with this deep conditioner. And I had to get out the shower, scan the code so I knew if I was doing it right. Cause it kind of just says apply to wet hair and then rinse out. But I didn't know how long to keep it on. Is this a five minute treatment, 10 minute treatment, 30 minute treatment? I personally like more information on the packaging. I can understand they probably did the photos that way. No matter what language you speak, you should be able to understand it. But I think we're all just more confused. But I do think it would be important to have just like one line of direction, just so we know what we're doing. Let's talk about sizes and prices. So I like that Rihanna didn't go too crazy. When you're a celebrity, I feel like you can add a little bit more of the razzle dazzle onto the price because of who you are. But she kept it pretty comparable into other high-end products. 
I would say this is pretty comparable to like Curl Smith, Rizos Curls, Briogeo, Sacred is even more. If I had to rate them in order from most expensive to most affordable in the higher end, medium-ish range of some of my personal favorite brands, Sacred would be the most expensive, then it would be Briogeo, then it would be Fenty, then Rizos Curls, then Curl Smith. Bitch, you didn't think Curlsmith would ever be on the bottom of an expensive list. And the side stick, cute name, three-in-one edge styling tool. I love the point on here. I like that it's like a metallic. It's great for parting. I like that it's thicker than a rat tail comb because I feel like that's hard to actually separate. So love this for parting. The bristles on here are not too rough. So it's not like, you know, making your forehead bleed. It's nice and flexible. And then I like that it has the comb here as well. If you guys are into like all the fancy smancy swooping stuff it's cute i just don't know if i do my edges enough to want to validate 18 dollars but it's the cutest edge brush that i now own now let's talk about the ingredients why does it cost as much as it is rihanna has created something called replenicore 5. replenicore 5 sounds super intense it sounds like something that was made in like an oscorp lab or the transformers are looking for it whatever you do we must protect replenicore 5. just like whoa what is that so Replenicore 5 is their proprietary complex infused into all the Fenty hair products, even the stylers, and it was developed and clinically tested to repair, strengthen, hydrate, smooth, and protect our hair. So I like that it kind of has like this bonding, reparative treatment in everything. So usually we think about that with like a deep conditioner or like a treatment that you wash out but i like knowing that my gel my cream even my edge control is working while i'm out and about some of the ingredients include the green tea extract they have a hydrolyzed vegetable protein and a barbados gooseberry shout out to her hometown amino acids and upcycled jackfruit extract and here's a closer look at the scent has some floral, coconut, lemon, amber is pretty strong, and lily of the valley. It's a very unique Fenty only scent. And before you ask, no, I forgot to smell Rihanna when I hugged her. <sighs> I literally meant to. I just watched a video of everybody raving about how good she smells. And I said, this is my moment. And then the moment came and it hit me at 3 a.m. as I was brushing my teeth like, <gasps> I forgot to smell her. I don't think I was breathing. I think I forgot to breathe. So there was no inhaling happening at all. In conclusion, I'm very happy with my results. I really enjoyed all the products. I love how moisturizing and rich they feel. I'd be interested to see how this works on my hair over time if you continue to use Replenicore 5. Things I would change if it were me. I would definitely make a gel that is compatible with the cream because this was very moisturizing and made my hair very shiny. So if I could have paired this with a Stronghold gel on top without having to worry about it flaking or using the whole bottle in one sitting, that would have been bomb. So maybe we need a mousse or something else to pair with this, a hairspray, something to give this more hold and this could be a go-to. But if you just like cream styles in general, I don't see why you wouldn't like this. I think the standout items for me would be just the regular conditioner worked really well. I am a fan of the Stronghold Jelly type and the Comeback Kid seems to be doing something to my hair. <laughs> so I think these might be the faves of the collection. But what do you think? Which products caught your eye? Which ones are you going to purchase? What's making you not want to purchase them? Leave all your thoughts below. I also tried this on my husband's hair and he has more of type 4 hair and I used the cream on its own and actually liked my results on his hair more than mine. So once again, follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee because I'm going to post some other alternatives on the gram. Truth is, I have 600,000 of you guys here and I just need like, I don't know, half of you to at least go to Instagram and help your girl out. I got daily content there for you. What are you waiting for? If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know that you enjoy my long form videos so I know if you want me to continue to make videos on YouTube. It is more work, I can admit that, than just posting a quick little story, so I just want to know that you guys still want me here, and if you do, I'll be happy to make more videos every week. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, Bianca Renee, today.